Hey everybody, welcome to another Why Buy update. I wanted to share three things I wish I knew before buying my first thousand dollar mountain bike. I also wanted to answer a few questions that have come up on the previous video I did with the specialized uh, Rock Opper Comp 29. So the first thing I really wish I would have known was how scarce bikes were at the time when I was looking to purchase a bike. Um, last year, 2020 pandemic hits, people can't travel anywhere, everybody's going out and finding things to do in their in their hometowns because they can't leave uh, so bike sales were through the roof and there was actually no you know bikes available for a lot of people I was lucky enough to find kind of the last uh, specialized uh, at my local shop in my size and uh, so I mean going into 2021 if you know if it's going to be any precursor if 2020 is any precursor to this year, like you should be thinking about getting your hands on a bike uh, as soon as possible. So the second thing that I really wish I did before buying my first mountain bike was actually test ride a few different models at different price points. Um, and it's all going to come down to what you're going to use your bike for. Uh, that's really should dictate what you need in a bike and what price you should spend on a bike. So if I were looking for a bike where I was just driving or like riding around the city, I think if I bought my $1,000 bike, I probably would have regretted that I spent probably $400 too much. A great example of this uh, from my research would actually be the co-op DRT, uh, the 1.1. I've heard a, a lot of good things about this bike at that kind of lower price point um, for what you need um, kind of for that, you know, riding a mountain bike in the city type of bike. After kind of riding pretty hard last year, I actually would have been on the other side where I actually kind of wish I would have spent a little bit more on a dual suspension bike because this year I'm kind of already ready to upgrade to a higher priced bike from the type of riding that I do. The third thing I really wished that I had planned for when when buying my bike was the additional costs that come with buying a mountain bike. You're, you know, you're going to have to buy some gear related to that. And the big thing for me was how you're going to transport your bike around if you're not just, you know, riding it from out of your house. There's, there's a helmet, there's uh, riding gloves, there's a repair kit, all these things that you want to have to make sure you're not getting injured when you're biking, but also so you can fix your bike if it ever you know has an issue when you're riding, I would budget for around two to three hundred dollars. Uh, most of that will probably be related to the helmet that you buy. Uh, the helmet I bought here was around 150 to uh, 200 dollars. It's a specialized helmet and it has the MIP system on it, so uh, it's just kind of one of the better helmets out there. Um, but you can definitely you know reduce that cost if you want to to, to buy a, a cheaper helmet. And we also bought a bike rack for the bikes uh, because we have an SUV and can't really go anywhere with them unless we had a bike rack. Um, bike racks can range anywhere from you know two three hundred dollars to you know over a thousand. Ours was kind of right in the middle. It's the Yakima hold up uh, bike rack. So I was looking for a one thousand dollar bike, and all in, I actually wound up spending closer to two thousand after you factor in the the bike rack and the additional gear that uh, you'll need to purchase if this is your first mountain bike purchase. So uh, if I can suggest anything is make sure that you do have these additional costs in your budget when you are looking to purchase your first bike. If you are interested in any of the items I've discussed in this video, I'll include some links in the description below. Uh, just keep in mind if you buy through any of these links, it does help support our channel. And now I'll answer some questions that we've had on uh, the specialized Comp 29. So Eli S. asked if you can use this bike on jumps. The answer in general is yes, you can. Um, I would suggest though, because this is a hardtail bike, you know, probably don't go off any, you know, big airs or anything crazy like that. You're not going to have any su uh, support or suspension uh, underneath you when you land. So, you know, the bike and your butt is going to be absorbing all of that shock on the landing. Uh, so... So Humberto Carmona asked if you can uh, ride this bike on the road or is it trail only? Um, yeah, yeah, you can you can ride the bike on the road. I live in the city and uh, I ride my 
mountain bike all over the place as well. And I've seen this comment a couple times, people asking about the color and not being able to find it. Um, I would say it's probably one of two things. It's either the color isn't available in your region or the bike is a 2020 bike and the new colors for 2021 have come out, which don't include this color. So the real Morgan Freeman has asked, how good is this bike with climbing? Uh, he just found this bike secondhand for 700 USD and was wondering if that's good price. Um, so for the Comp 29, 700 USD sounds pretty close to the brand new price for the bike. Uh, I'd probably check and make sure that the model is the correct model. You might, it might be the a few steps up. The Rock Hopper has all the way from a $500 bike all the way up. I think you can spend almost $1,500 on a Rock Hopper. So you might want to check um, which specific model it is. Uh, check the retail price and um, you know if it's a good enough deal. There you go. And the last comment is from Mizel Riggs. Um, he's asking what year the bike is. This is the Rock Hopper Comp 29 and it, this is the 2020 model. So I wanted to thank everybody for their comments. Um, please remember to ask more questions as they come up. We do make sure that we answer all of them uh, as soon as we can. Uh, thanks for watching.